But look, the thing is, when you're married, you don't do it. Is that right? Is anybody, anybody still married and doing and having sex? Anybody in the room? Most people, well, you're very young. How long have you been married? 25 years. 25, how old are you? 45. Go to my car. <laughs> are you 40? 50. Why, why did you lie then? And everything else. <laughs> this woman said she'd had sex two days ago. Yeah. Hey, he's your husband. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> How long did it take a begging? <laughs> hey? No, it's just a, look, it's just a, I don't write this stuff. It's all written by these disgruntled news agents. They say to me, Go for the ugly woman. <laughs> I don't even think about it. I don't, I'm just a vessel for their ad nauseum, you know, their evil inclinations. Because when people came into their news agents and say, can we use a credit card? They would say, only cash. And after years, it just got to them. And they became my writers and they're nasty, they're vindictive, they're vituperative. I've got no, I've got, sorry? What language was that? <laughs> oh, I think you need to get your rifles from Nepal. Oh, from Nepal? Well, like the, the prince of Nepal killing his whole family. No, no, no. I just think Nepal. Well, what are you talking about? Edmund Hillary or something like that. No. The New Zealand, you know, mountain climbers. What's that all about? What are you talking about? What is that? What's that all about? I tell you, I got South African friends. I don't know if you've come across them at all, but I was with one the other day and he's, I couldn't believe it. It's out of control. Where did you pop your cock? I said, I'll pop my cock up your horse. I couldn't believe it. I'm looking at out of control. Because in Melbourne, luckily, you escaped it. You got the Polish Eden. In Sydney, we got the South African pains in the ass. <laughs> hey, sorry? It's just a show, you fuckwit. It's not real. The only thing that's real is the misery in your fucking life. This is a fantasy situation created by a thousand riders in some sweatshop in Gangjiao province. Suffering. Hey? Yeah, and you need to get shicker, that's what you need. <laughs> Every Australian needs to get completely shicker. Look at that bloke. Hey, how's the chemo working out? <laughs> That's not a fashion statement, is it? <laughs> Imagine covering yourself in tattoos from head to foot. Hey? And you're Jewish. Or Israeli. Hey, look, uh, the problem was for us... Uh, before the Hezbollah, only three weeks and the Israelis are gonna I could get rid of Iran completely. You know more Iran. How does that make you feel? You couldn't fucking care less. What about boat people? You don't care about that either. Offshore, onshore, couldn't care less. Just keep them out of my fucking place. You see them walking down the street, kill them. But if you're a boat person, you're on your way to Christmas Island. Christmas Island. I couldn't believe it. I had the weird Christmas Island. Christmas. Things are going to work out. Two weeks later, you're on the roof setting fire to yourself. Because the dream turned into a fucking nightmare. Sorry? Don't come on. If I was with you, there's no chance I would come. <laughs> this gig would keep coming back to me. With that woman, it's a different thing. I'd go from the back. Come on, you're, not, you're upset now, aren't you? Why would you get upset? It's your wife I'm taking the piss out of. You wouldn't get upset, would you? You'd be happy to move on, wouldn't you? You'd be happy to be down on that time massage, day in, day out. You'd like me to rub your horn. So you're young lovers, are you married yet or? Huh? You thinking about it? It did, it's not Walt Disney, let me tell you. It's hard fucking yakka. Sometime, 
He won't even want to look in there anymore. <laughs> He'll be down at the time, that's on. Because some beautiful Thai girl will say to him, you'd like me to rub your mouth? <laughs> lick the top of your cock. <laughs> Might be happening already. You know? <laughs> a lot of men will say to the wife, just go for a job. <laughs> Because if you look out there, the, the, the proliferation of Thai massage outlets, it's, outlets are astonishing. Even in this suburb, there's 35 Thai massage outlets. On the front it says, massage, not extra. You go in, and that's all that happens. And that's what all the men are dreaming of in their fucking Westpac bank. We're all sitting there, all the Westpac bank employees are all thinking, fuck, how am I going to tell my wife? Some bullshit so I can go to the top of the That's what they're thinking out at work. Women are thinking, oh, I can't wait till he gets home. Just be to the time asset. Do I sound bitter? I don't know. Does it sound a little bit bitter? Because I do a lot of work for feminism. And then, and Jermaine Greer had just finished her big speech, even the Yobos are quiet. Can't believe what's going on here. It's work, we're working on many, many levels, don't worry. I come out this feminist show. A thousand very tough feminist chicks. And I got a t-shirt which says, I love every bone in your body, especially mine. <laughs> Immediately I got them on side. <laughs> and I say, what are the 70 things that women do best? 69 and fucking breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and the feminists are pissing themselves. <laughs> and I say, how many, this is a big feminist show. I mean, very tough show. I like this one. Lots of, lots of pillars. And I say, how many... How many feminists does it take to change? <laughs> so the Jews are just enjoying it on many different levels. The boy and me going, yeah. I've heard that one before. <laughs> so are you not Jewish? Thank goodness for us. I don't think if you converted, we would even accept you. We'd have to say, there's one shiksa, too many. Some people we reject on the grounds of just stupidity. <laughs> You would be in that category, <laughs> along with your mum down here, <laughs> and your dad. <laughs> Happy family. Are you alright? It's just a show. You know it's a show, don't you? It's not real. Anything here is not, there's not, like, do people realise that? In Packingham they thought it was all real. And when I went in the car park, got into my luxury limousine, I headed straight back to the Park Hyatt last night, where Kylie Minogue was waiting for me with cocaine and a crack. And, <laughs> Straight after the show, there was about 40 of them around me. They thought I was Indian for some reason. No, they thought I was a light-coloured Indian from Nepal. Weird. How are you doing? With Belshazzar there or something? Where are you at the moment? Do people remember that Pope at all when he said... I, that guy was in the job 26 years. And he was about as articulate as you and Gary Apple. I belong to the RACB or whatever you call it down here. And I tell you what, I go to their annual general meetings, the C, if they wheeled the CEO out and he said, <laughs> Rod say the assistant. <laughs> I would have fucking second thoughts. The Catholics put up with it for 26 years while all their mates are rooting around New South Wales. All the young kids that they can get their hands on until Four Corners spotted them. <laughs> Thousands of priests on the, on the run, on the move, like David Cypress from the security organisation. Occasionally the Jews go off the rails too. Got to admit it, but very, very rarely. 